In this video, I'm going to attempt to match the three colours on the squares you can see on the left uh, using a primary palette of cadmium red light, ultramarine blue, primary yellow and white. So let's see how I get on. Right, I'm going to start with the square in the bottom left, which is the light reddish orange square. So the first thing to do when trying to match a colour is to start with the pigment uh, that's closest to the colour you're trying to match. So in this case, that would be the cadmium red light. So I just start by taking a very small amount of the cadmium red uh, because it's a very strong colour. And the first thing I can see is that it needs to be quite a lot lighter in value. And to lighten a colour you can add any lighter colour, so we could add yellow or white. Um, but if we add yellow then that's going to push it much too far towards orange. So in this case we're going to lighten it by adding white to the red. So I've added some white to the red, um, but as I said that this cadmium red is very strong so it's taken quite a lot of white to, to lighten it to the correct value. So I just put some of that red aside and added quite a bit more, more white and you can see that, that that's starting to look pretty close to the colour square already. Just mix that in again. and that value is looking quite close. just needs to be a little bit lighter so I'll add a touch more white and then because I put those colour squares underneath my glass palette I can test the value by just uh, adding a dab of the of the colour I've mixed on top of the square. When I do that you can see that it still appears slightly too dark so then I just scrape that off and uh, mix in a little bit more white to try and get closer to the value uh, but this time when I put it on you can see it looks a little bit too light so it's quite easy to to just push the value too far either way so now I need to make it darker again but I've also noticed that it, the colour is slightly too saturated so it's too strong of a red colour and it needs to be a little bit more grey so the way to make a colour grey is to add its complementary colour. Um, the complement of red is green, so what we need to do is add a tiny bit of green to this mixture and that should make it just a little bit greyer and it should match up quite nicely. So I'm mixing a green just by mixing together the blue and yellow. Just add a little bit more yellow there to make it more green. And then I just add a tiny speck of the green into the mixture. And you can see that that gets a bit more, it just grays the colour down so it's less saturated. It's a very su subtle difference but when I place that next to the other one, you should be able to see that it's a little bit more grey. Now it's, it's still slightly too saturated so I'm just adding a tiny speck more green um, and that should just bring the saturation down. Also because green that green is a darker colour it's also bringing the value down a little bit as well. So when I put that on the colour square you can see that the, the value and saturation are pretty much spot on. So let's move on to the next colour. I'll just move that green out of the way and sorry about the uh, glitches in the video here uh, but hopefully you can still see what's going on so starting on this color the closest paint pigment to that color is ultramarine blue although it's much darker so again we're just going to add a lot of white to that mix so now this actually looks pretty close when I put it on the glass, but um, there is a bit of reflection on the glass which affects that. And I actually found that, again, this colour is slightly too saturated and it also needs to be greyed down. 
with the complement of blue, which is orange. So now I'm mixing an orange with red and yellow. And again, just add a small amount to the blue and that reduces the saturation. Already you can see that it's very close to the colour on the square. So moving on to the last square, which is quite a bright purple. Um, it's closest to the ultramarine blue, so we'll start with that and add some red. The problem here is that when you add one colour to another, you've reduced the saturation. So it's very difficult to get a, a secondary colour from two primaries that is very saturated. So it needs to be much lighter, so I'm adding white, but that also reduces the saturation. So we're going to end up with a colour that is the right value, but nowhere near saturated enough. Still looks a little bit dark, so I'm going to add some more white, but again that just reduces the saturation further. So you can see how the, the purple that I'm mixing is much greyer than the colour that we're trying to mix. Now for a painting, this might be close enough and you might not really need that bright purple. But if you do want to mix the exact colour, then you'll need to use, you'll need to introduce some different coloured pigments onto the palette. So ideally you'd probably use something like a dioxazine purple, which would which would come out of the tube quite close to the colour in that square. Um, I don't have that, so I'm going to use Cobalt Violet and Cobalt Blue. So I've added Cobalt Blue and Cobalt Violet onto my palette. Uh, they're both very saturated uh, colours and lighter in value than the, than the Ultramarine Blue. So I'll start with the Violet because that's closest to the purple that we're trying to achieve. And Cobalt Violet is also not a very strong pigment, so I'll use more of that and just a touch of the Cobalt Blue. As you can see, this mix is much more saturated than the previous, which you can still see on the right there. Putting that on top, it's actually a little bit too saturated. So we need to grey that down slightly by adding purple's complement, which is yellow. Now what I've done here is add too much yellow, because ye the yellow is much stronger than the cobalt violet. So I've gone, I've lost too much saturation and it's, it's now too grey. So I just decided to scrape that off and start again because the cobalt violet is so much weaker than the yellow that it would take too much to bring it back and, and make it more saturated. So I started again with a, a fresh pile of cobalt violet mixed again with a, a small amount of the cobalt blue. Now that's starting to look closer. It's a little bit too dark still, so I just had a touch of white. And that's close enough. 